Hello again, it's Eric, uh, Friendly Neighborhood Logo Maker. And I do apologize that um, it's been a little sporadic the last um, week or so with um, getting some logos out. So I apologize, um, I'm going to correct that. Um, unfortunately, I'm running out of space. So I'm starting to get the error warning about I only have so many teams left that I can pop onto the game. So I have to do something I don't wanna do going to have to do rapid fire um, videos where I don't take you through the actual building of the videos or each logo. I'm going to just have to take you through the layers real quick so that I can bang out a bunch of these and then start clearing out some space. So what I will try to do is ones that are, might be a little bit more difficult or I feel like I really should take you through the whole thing to show you how I did it or if it's something that's kind of unique and I think that it would benefit those or you're trying to make, you know, some really cool logos and you're trying to kind of figuring out how I did what I did, I may still do that um, as I have time. But right now I, I need to clear out about 30 to 50 uh, logos. I'm at just over 200 of ones that I want to show you. <clears throat> Plus I've got what's ones that are my league that, um, Either I'm not going to show or I've already shown. So um, I'm just uh, running out of space, so I need to be a little bit more creative. So let's get into this one. Um, the Papillons, this, that's uh, French for Butterfly. I did this one for my daughter for her league just to do something uh, kind of cool. I like this simply because it's um, different colors. It's a geometric, and so it's not super difficult. Actually, if you remember my two cans. One, there's some similarities in the upper wings on how I did those. Um, and I just like it. It's different. It's striking. And, you know, the geometrics do look really nice, too. So let's get into it. All right. So color-wise, um, color number one that I use, it's a muted pink. A little bit of medium dark. Black and white. And then I do this burnt orange. Um, those are really the only colors you need in this. Okay. All right. So we're going to go into it. All right. And if you do have questions on any of these, please put, go ahead and ask me. You can email me at supermegaeric1 at gmail.com or just reply to the video and I'll try to get to it as fast as I can. If there's something that's stumping you or you have a question on how to do something, I'm always more than willing to help out, um, you know, there wasn't a lot of people that were doing this for number two and at the beginning of Super Mega 3. So figured that somebody's got to do it. So burnt orange, squared two, zero, zero, zero. And I just scale it up to cover up the whole thing. Um, then half circle, which is in this, the left wing top right corner in the pink. Uh, negative 53, 19, 44, 34. Then in white, the same half circle, negative 111, 60, 224, 34. And then we're going to go to the other side, the half circle in black, 53, 19, 315 rotation, 34 scale. And then again, we're going to do this one is the, another hot pink, pink. 111, 61, 135, and 34 on the scale. Then we go to triangle two, and this is where, if you remember the two cans, this is how I did that leaf shape. Triangle two, pink, negative 127, 154, 291 on the rotation, 21 on the scale, and then the opposite of the white, negative 38, 24, 111, rotation, 21 scale, and then and flip over to the black. Triangle two also, 1646, rotation 202, scale 21. And then we do that hot pink, 148, 135, rotation 22, scale 21. Then we'll do the last part of that left wing in the pink. Negative 1546, 157 rotation, 21 scale. And then the white, Finish off the white part of that wing. A negative 149, 134, 
rotation 337.21 on the scale. Then if finish off the black wing on the right and triangle 2, 127, 156, 68, rotation 21 scale. And then the last of the, the uh, right wing, the pink, triangle 2, 37, 25, 248 rotation, 21 scale. And that's how you get those cool looking wings. Now, because I wanted to do the geometric part of this when I did it, so now you do a half circle. And you can do it whatever you way you want. The way I did it, just kind of everything just kind of matches up and play the colors play off each other really well. So go, I do it in black. Negative 66, 105, rotation 44, scale 18. Then you do it in the pink to do the bottom part of that left wing, negative 98, 74, rotation 224, scale 18. Then we'll go to the other side, we'll do the pink inside the black wing. Negative, sorry, positive 67, 106, rotation 315, scale 18. And then we'll do the white underneath, 98, 74, 135, rotation 18, scale. All right, now do the, to do the bottom, got a little creative here. Uh, I want to do something a little different. So use quadrant one in the pink, negative 61, 52, sorry, negative 52. Negative 61, negative 52, 180 rotation, 28 scale, okay? Now we're gonna do the opposite one in black, same quadrant one, now flip it. 61, negative 52, rotation 180, scale 28. And you know I can't do a video without doing swish 10. I don't know if I have one that, there might be one that I haven't done Swiss Gen. That'll blow my mind if I have that. All right, so to stylize this a little bit, Swiss 10 in black. Negative 62, negative 73, rotation 146, scale 31. Then you're gonna do, you're gonna copy it, flip it, white, 62, negative 73, 214 rotation, 31 on the scale. All right, and then what I do is text, okay? Doing the dash font one, and all I'm doing is just trying to, if you don't do it, so you got that little spot there, and the, the way um, Swish 10 works, it's not a, it's not level, it's not flat, so it's not 100% perfect, you will not notice it in a jersey. All right, so the dash will go negative 17, negative 94, rotation 270, scale four. Then you'll do another one in white, 117, negative 94, 270 rotation, four scale. All right? And then to round out the corners, you use shield six, which is really good for stuff like this. Burnt orange just to match the background. Negative 15, three, 246 rotation, nine scale. Then you do another one on the other side. You can see it, it's right there to just round out the black there. Uh, 115, three, 114, rotation, nine, scale. And then put a circle in the middle to complete that geometric in white, circle one, negative 82, negative 36, rotation zero, scale eight. And then pink on the other side, 82, negative 36, zero, scale eight. And then finally, the teardrop for the head in black, 0, 178, rotation 180, scale 14. And then I do the outline. I do it in pink. And then I do the Pepiona in black, font 19. Okay? Now, just to show you some other ways to do it too, is instead of just doing the burnt orange background, just do outline. And this makes it look like a nice little badge like a patch. Um, I do the cir reverse circle in white. Then I do the black and then I do in the pink and then I do the orange. I'm sorry, the outlines in white, black, pink, burnt orange. All right, it's a nice looking patch. Um, it looks good. I did this for the other hat because my daughter wanted the butterfly to still be in it. Um, and then, you know, 
uh, do the same patch over here in the home jersey, and uh, and I just took out the the white because I just thought it'd be a little distracting to have the and the black one I, I did the white outline, but on the road I don't do the white outline. All right, so there you go. Uh, the Papillons took about seven and a half eight minutes. That's about what the videos will be for a little while. Next one I'm gonna do is Gunslingers, and then I'm gonna do a couple of real team logos too. Thank you.